was done playing in my three Olympics. I was a mom. I had my son and he was three at the time. And I was kind of like, I don't know what's next. Like, what am I going to do now? <laughs> I just got done playing. I'm 30 years old, right? I want more kids. I'm, I've been married for, you know, whatever, four, four years at that time, five years at that time. And I was like, I want to have more kids, but I don't even know what I'm going to do next. I got my degree to be a teacher from the University of Arizona, but I never did go into teaching full time. Did some substitute teaching and stuff, but God put on my heart to speak. And I was like, oh my gosh, no, <laughs> I cannot speak. I cannot speak. And I was around teammates who were not only faster, stronger, they were way smarter than me. Like they, they went to UCLA and Stanford and got crazy test scores. And I'm like, I can't remember anything. I was a good student. I worked really, really hard, but none of it came easy. And memorization was terrible for me. And God really put on my heart this urgency to share. He's like reminded me, look at the power of Julie on your teammate sharing with you. If you'll be faithful and go share, I can I can work. I just I just need people to say yes. And so I was like, he just put that on my heart, in my spirit. And so I was like, okay, Lord, it's going to take me out of my comfort zone, but I will do whatever you want me to do, God. I want to honor you, and I want to make you known, and I want people to see your love and hope. And I share that to say, God has taken me to speak. I've spoken at an orphanage in Mexico. I've spoken to homeless people here in SoCal I've been to LA to people that have barely nothing. I've shared my medals and then I get to share Jesus with them. He's taken me around this entire country to speak. He's taken me around the world and get opportunities to share with other countries and to be able to shine for Jesus. 